Hey you guys, welcome to the second tutorial for Sonar. Uh, today we're going to review editing, a little bit on editing. We're going to touch the topic of PRV tool configuration and a little bit of post-production work. Now, I've loaded uh, my one of my songs, Life of a Balloon. Some of you have heard this. For those of you that haven't, check out the link here. It'll take you to that video. Um, a lot of problems that I see are legato phrases are not patched correctly because take, take for instance this oboe solo. We've got um, these patches are in sync with each other. Instead of people, you know, overlaying a little bit to get a legato phrase, they're separated because they're leaving them with this little bit of gap in between them. So you're probably wondering how in the hell I just drag that without moving the entire phrase. Simple. Go to options, go to your PRV tool configuration. This little baby right here allows you to configure your little mouse button. So instead of having to click the second one, the PRV draw tool, in order to drag the ends, you can now just use your single draw tool to move up, down, left, right, and drag and further enable the MIDI input. So go to options, PRV tool configuration, and you'll see the little bars are split into sections. You're going to click on the very beginning end, and you'll see it says note slip start adjust. Yours will say something else because you haven't programmed it yet, and if you have, then it, you have it correct if it's set to note slip start adjust. And if you, know, you don't have that, go ahead and click that. And for the end, you guessed it, no slip end adjust. Just go ahead and make sure those two are checked in and enabled. And I leave mine without the control shift or all uh, configuration or options. And click, uh, you can go ahead and save that, overwrite it, click OK. And then you'll select the number one in the PRV tool, and you'll now be able to extend without having to use the second option for the PRV tool. Now, like I was saying with the legato phrases, a lot of people have the problem, especially with strings, where they're separated because they're just using the quantizing and having the MIDI input in separate quarters instead of overlapping to get a slight legato effect. So you'll hear what I'm talking about here. I might have to split it down for you. This is a project I had to go back and fix the string in oboe solo too. So hold on one second. <laughs> the string in the oboe section is now legato because I have those overlapped. Instead of it being separated like most people use by keeping the inputs together or quantized through quarters, I overlap mine with just a little bit so it gives a legato type feel. Get on here and I'll solo the oboe for you. There's a little bit of velocity and manipulation in there, as you can tell. You can access that by right-clicking and inputting velocity, or I said, okay, yeah, that was a slight velocity and manipulation. Now, it can be a pain in the ass by manipulating every note and right-clicking it. So, as I showed you before on the previous tutorial, hit key command Alt-5, which takes you to the piano roll view of the track you've selected. Now, we're in the oboe track. You'll go down here, and if you do not see this pane, hit the C command. C on the keyboard will bring up the velocity control. And you can go up here and select your draw tool. And this is the velocity curve. You can actually draw your own velocities instead of having to go in and click each one individually. This was a godsend for me because it took me two years to find this after I was right-clicking every note to enter the velocity. So it is a helpful tool. You can add your crescendos, your decrescendos. Your Mesa de Vocis, it just depends on whatever you want. It's just a hell of a lot simpler than going in there and right clicking each note. Just remember that each track you want to track view or piano roll view, you have to select. So if we wanted to do the circle bells, hit all that five, and there's the circle bell phrase. You have to excuse me, I'm using a handheld mic because my other one was giving me way too much feedback. To expand the view, you can hit control and right arrow as if you want to zoom in. That way you can see the individual velocities a little bit better. You can edit them from there. So that's a neat little trick. Alt-0 to get back to the pian or track view. And you'll notice that Alt-3 for the synth view, synth view, the um, sound, I call it a soundboard view. I had to turn this down because I'm still recording and it will blow your ears out through the software if I try to you know, play some notes back. So this is kind of touching lightly on the um, editing phase. 
and I'll go ahead and go over the aim assist. This is a new feature in 8.5, and all it really does is you know let you know where you are in the timeline here in the ruler. If you wanted to edit, of course you can see that it's not quantizing to the quarter notes, so you can fix that by going up here to the snap to grid button, and enable that, and you can change if you want to snap to quarters, halves, eighths, triplets. It's the same thing as a quantizing button. I usually do eighth notes since unless I'm working with sixteenths it automatically go ahead and snap to the eighth notes for me you'll see there and that way I when I copy and paste I don't have to go in and let's see I'll show you by the way those key commands are control C for copy control V for paste and you'll see here it gives me the option I'm pasting on the and of the th third beat in the fifth measure so instead of me having to do that you know enter it manually I can automatically just click and it takes me to the eighth notes with beats. I'm sorry about the beeps there. There you go. So we've touched a little bit on the editing phase and I'm going to see if I can come up cover anything else real quick for you. I don't think I can so I'll put up the next tutorial. Don't know what it's on yet. Hopefully I get some messages you guys can give me ideas. Hope this helps you. See you guys.